baptism with fire or anointing with power. Written by Cataline Remus Negrianat, 20.07.2012. Rima word from God for writing of this book. 2 Samuel 7, 19, And this was yet a small thing in thy sight, O Lord God, but thou hast spoken also of thy servant's house for a great while to come. And is this the manner of man, O Lord God? C-O-P-Y-R-I-G-H-T Copyright C-A-T-A-L-I-N-R-E-M-U-S-N-E-G-R-E-A-N Thanks. To God in the name of Jesus Christ whom through the Holy Spirit gave me this understanding, wisdom, teaching and skill to expose the teaching of this book about the baptism with fire. To him be all glory, honor, respect and worship forever and ever. Amen. To my wife Speranta which her name it means, hope, for all the help and support and patience that she have it with me at correcting of this book. Contents Prologue Chapter 1 Baptism with Fire in Old Testament Chapter 2 Baptism with Fire in New Testament Chapter 3 Baptism with Fire during the Church History Chapter 4 What John the Baptist Asked from Jesus Christ Chapter 5 What is Baptism with Fire Chapter 6 For What is Given to Us Baptism with Fire Chapter 7 Preparing for Baptism with Fire and the Way How We Receive It Epilogue Autobiography Bibliography Prologue I wish that through this book to share what God has revealed me about baptism with fire. This teaching I received over the years, starting in May 20, 2000 by Reading the Word of God, Holy Spirit has aroused Curiosity about what is the meaning of baptism with fire, He showed me and discovered me the verses about this subject. This made me to searching more closely, and begin to write on paper what the Holy Spirit taught me about this wonderful gift that we receive from Lord Jesus Christ, and who is baptism with fire. Chapter 1 Baptism with Fire in Old Testament First of all I want to start writing this book about Baptism with Fire, with an elevated prayer for all those who will read this book. Father God in the name of Jesus Christ thy Son, and through Holy Spirit I pray that through this book the Holy Spirit to reach all your children to help them understand the message of this book and also the Holy Spirit to reveal your word about the baptism with fire as a great blessing in the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen, Amen. The title of this chapter tells you that the following lines will show some examples of baptism with fire during Old Testament. Let's start by opening the scripture at Exodus 14, 21 to 24 to read. Exodus 14 colon 21 And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. Exodus 14 colon 22 And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand, and on their left. Left. Exodus 14 colon 23, And the Egyptians pursued, and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. Exodus 14 colon 24, And it came to pass, that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians. We see here in verse 22 exemplification of baptism and water, the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and then we see, Exemplification of baptism with the Holy Spirit, and with fire in verse 24, in the morning watch the Lord. Looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud. So therefore, what we have here. Exemplification of baptism with water, Holy Spirit and fire. But we are interested on the subject of baptism with fire. Way I am say that the pillar of fire represent baptism with fire. Because the Lord it was in that pillar of fire. That went with them, Exodus 13, 21, And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire. Lord is Jesus Christ that baptized with the Holy Spirit, and with fire, Matthew 3, 
11 I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, and with fire, we see that Jesus Christ walked with the Hebrew people in the wilderness in 1 Corinthians 10, 4 and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. So this is an example, but I'll still show you another one. Let's open the scripture at 2 Kings 2, 1 to 11 and to read. 2 Kings 2, 1 and it came to pass, when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. 2 Kings 2, 2 And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. 2 Kings 2, 3 And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it, hold ye your peace. 2 Kings 2, 4 And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. 2 Kings 2, 5 And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it, hold ye your peace. 2 Kings 2, 6 And Elijah said unto him, Tari, I pray thee, hear, for the Lord hath sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. 2 Kings 2, 7 and 50 men of the sons of the prophets went, and stood to view afar off, and they too stood by. Jordan. 2 Kings 2, 8 and Elijah took his mantle, and wrapped it together, and smote the waters, and they were divided. Hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. 2 Kings 2, 9 And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. 2 Kings 2, 10 And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. 2 Kings 2, 11 And it came to pass, as they still went on, and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Again we see those three examples of baptism with water, Holy Spirit and fire. Baptism with water in verses 7 to 8, and they too stood by Jordan. 2 Kings 2, 8 And Elijah took his mantle, and wrapped it together, and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. Baptism with the Holy Spirit Elijah and Elisha were prophets see this in verses 1 and 3, 2 Kings 2, 1 And it came to pass, when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. 2 Kings 2, 3 And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it, hold ye your peace. Elijah and Elisha, each knew that. Elijah will be kidnapped so that both of them was prophets so baptized with the Holy Spirit. Baptism with fire we see in verse 2 Kings. 2 colon 11, 2 Kings 2 colon 11, and it came to pass, as they still went on, and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, chariot of fire, and horses of fire parted them. For surely these are examples of the manifestation of baptism with water, Holy Spirit and fire.
but I wanted to highlight only the subject of this book, namely baptism with fire. I'll show you other passages of scripture with sight at baptism with fire. Angel of the Lord who shows himself to Moses from the burning bush, Exodus 3 colon 2, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush, and he looked, and, behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Exodus 3 colon 3 and Moses said, I will now turn aside, and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. In Exodus, the pillar of fire was upon the tabernacle. Exodus 40, 38 For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel, throughout all their journeys. The fire that rose from rock. Who is the rock? Christ. Judges 6, 21 Then the angel of the Lord put forth the end of the staff that was in his hand, and touched the flesh in the unleavened cakes, and there rose up fire out of the rock, and consumed the flesh, and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. To mention that the angel of the Lord has not reached rock, but touched the meat, and unleavened bread, and yet the fire came of rock. Mount filled with horses of fire and chariots of fire, ministers from the flames. 2 Kings 6 colon 15 and when the servant of the man of God was risen early, and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Second Kings 6, 16 And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Second Kings 6, 17 And Elisha prayed, and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes, that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and, behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Guidance through the pillar of fire. Nehemiah 9, 12 Moreover thou lettest them in the day by a cloudy pillar, and in the night by a pillar of fire too. Give them light in the way wherein they should go. To burn the heart in you. Psalms 39, 3 My heart was hot within me. While I was musing the fire burned, then spake I with my tongue. And, Psalms 39, 3 My heart was burning in me, saw me. 39 colon 3 I am I ardia inima in mine, in Romanian, translation Bible Dimitri Cornelesca version. The Lord will create over Zion, and her assemblies cloud and fire. Isaiah 4, 5 And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, and upon her assemblies, a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night, for upon all the glory shall be a defense, Isaiah 4, 6 And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat, and for a place of refuge, and for a covert from storm and from rain. Word of the Lord made a fire in mouth. Jeremiah 5, 14 Wherefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Word of the Lord in heart like a consuming fire, Jeremiah 20, 9 Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was, In mine heart is a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. Word of the Lord is fire and power as a hammer to crush rock. Jeremiah 23, 29 Is not my word like as a fire? Saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? A river of fire. Daniel 7, 9 I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool, his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Daniel 7, 10 A fiery stream issued, and came forth from before him, thousand thousands ministered unto him. And ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, the judgment was set, and the books were opened. O holy river! O holy rain! Nobody of whom expects you are not waiting in vain. Tristigian Lord will be a wall of fire around us. Zechariah 2, 5 For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. He put us in the fire for cleaning. Zechariah 13, 
9 And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried, they shall call on my name, and I will hear them, I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God. Lord, messenger of the covenant, will cleanse us in his fire. Malachi 3, 1 Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Malachi 3, 2 But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. Malachi 3, 3 And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. It is necessary to mention that this fire that I exemplify here is not a fire of destruction, but a fire of blessing, it is the baptism with fire. With this I conclude this first chapter with sight at baptism with fire in period of Old Testament. Give me love to leads the way. Faith, the force burner. Hope, not to give back. The zeal to burn, not to be ice. Do not fall like a ball of clay. Made me oil lamp. A divine flame. Amy Wilson Carmichael. Chapter 2 Baptism with Fire in New Testament. Continue on with the help of the Holy Spirit to write this book about baptism with fire which is anointed with power with this second chapter about baptism with fire in the New Testament in who you will found about the moments when it was manifested. Here the word of God speaks to us in a brief stories about baptism with fire. Yet I will try to exemplify in more detail how this blessing that God has it for us through baptism with fire. In Matthew 3, 11 John the Baptist prophesied to us that Jesus Christ would baptize us with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Matthew 3, 11 I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. In Mark 9, 49 Lord Jesus Christ prophesies that it will be a baptism with fire. Mark 9, 49 For every one shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. In Luke 1, 35 it is written about how Mary the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ was filled, anointed, baptized with the Holy Spirit, and with fire. Luke 1, 35 And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee, therefore also that. Holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. We see that it is written, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And in Luke 12, 49-50 Lord Jesus Christ prophesy again about him referring to his body, which is the Church that will be baptized with fire. The desire of Lord Jesus Christ to baptize with fire it is so big that he wish right in that moment for his body which is the church to receive it right in that place as soon as possible. Remember that Lord Jesus Christ came not to judge the earth and yet he tells us in the word that he came to cast fire on the earth and what he wants them to be ignite right now. This desire of the Lord Jesus Christ which is not judgment fire but baptism with fire wants to be for the whole earth, is for his church of course. But it wasn't. Fulfilled then because it was necessary for Christ to die and rise again, as at Pentecost, we the church to receive this baptism with fire. Luke 12, 49 I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? Luke 12, 50 But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? about what prophesies us Lord Jesus Christ here is. Also prophesied in the Old Testament in Isaiah 4, 5. Isaiah 4, 5, And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, and upon her assemblies, a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night, for upon all the glory shall be a defense, to mention that here it doesn't say a fire of flame, 
but a fire of flames so more many flames which it show us clearly that it talks about baptism with fire. In Luke 24, 32 like in Psalms 39, 3 and Jeremiah 20, 9. Luke 24, 32 and they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us, while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures, speaks about baptism with fire found in ourselves, our hearts after the baptism with fire must burn within us for passion and desire to read the word and to stay and talk to our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 39, 3 My heart was hot within me, while I was musing the fire burned, then spake I with my tongue. Jeremiah 20, 9 Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was, in mine heart is a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. In Acts 2, 3-4 to it is presented to us in detail how the disciples in the day of Pentecost were baptized with fire and how the prophecy of the Lord Jesus Christ and prophecy of John the Baptist was fulfilled. Acts 2, 3 And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Acts 2, 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. In Revelation 3, 15 to 16, 18 we see that Lord Jesus Christ wants us baptized with fire. Revelation 3, 15 I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot, I would thou work cold or hot. Revelation 3, 16 So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Revelation 13, 18 I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayst be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayst be clothed, and that the shame of thy naked nesto not appear, and anoint thine eyes with. I salve, that thou mayst see. For the water to boiling over needs the fire, and also Lord Jesus Christ advises us. To buy gold cleansed by fire. How to buy. Free is a gift you received as a gift to give Matthew 10, 8. I will conclude this chapter by bring thanks to God for this wonderful gift, which we have as a blessing, baptism with fire besides the baptism with the Holy Spirit, and which we receive them from our Lord Jesus Christ. Nor high erudition, nor perfect diction, nor very large mental ability, nor eloquence flower, nor attractive appearance of a person, nothing of this can't replace the lack of inner fire. Prayer rise up through fire. Inner flame give to prayer, both motion and wings, both energy and passion. Incense has no purpose without fire, nor prayer without flame. E.M. Bound Chapter 3 Baptism with Fire During the Church History In this chapter 1 will Trey with the Holy Spirit help to bring as more much proofs of the baptism with fire that was existed in church history, for you can know existence of baptism with fire which is anointed with power. Let's take the following examples that I discovered about baptism with fire. St. Philip Neri named also Apostle of Rome, he received baptism with fire in year 1544. John Wesley May 24, 1738 at Hours of Prayer in Aldersgate Street also received the baptism with fire. William Booth, the date of receipt of baptism with fire sometimes around 1880. D.L. Moody Unknown Date of Receipt of Baptism with Fire Fire William Seymour 1906 Receiving of Baptism with Fire of All Pentecostal Church, where he was pastor. Leonard Ravenhill in one night in Gillingham, at east of London, he received baptism with fire, unknown date. Eddie Russell Cathedral in Perth, Australia May 13th 1993 received baptism with fire along with those in the church. St. Philip Neri Born in July 1515 and died on 16.May.1595. was a boy destined to become one of the greatest saints of the church. He was named Apostle of Rome. Here he received a singular favor in the year 1544. Wrapped in prayer, in anticipation of the Feast of Pentecost, he saw a ball of fire enter his mouth and penetrate his body down to the heart. He was overwhelmed with an inexpressible love of God and holy joy. A flame in his heart, nothing less than the fire of the Holy Spirit, 
burned so intensely that the thought its heat would consume him. He fell to the ground trying to relieve the discomfort it caused. When, at last, he was no longer overcome by this extraordinary experience he arose, and placing his hand near his heart he fell to swelling the size of his fist. After his death it was discovered that two of his ribs were broken outward to make room for the actual physical dilation of his heart. The effects of this eruption of divine love never healed, and quite mysteriously never caused him any pain the remainder of his life. The enlarged heart thereafter continually bore witness to Philip's love of God, and of all that is sacred. So forceful were its palpitations that others could hear its thumping and feel its vibration. On the vigil of Pentecost while praying in the catacombs of St. Sebastian, Philip received from the Holy Ghost a singular favor of love. At times it shook the room like an earthquake. Years later, when Philip had become a priest, the phenomenon was especially noticeable when he offered the holy sacrifice of the Mass, heard confessions or preached. The celestial glow of his heart emitted constant heat from his chest and up into his throat. Sometimes, to seek relief, he would unbutton the top of his cassock. Even in the cold of winter he went about without a coat and left the windows of his room open. Such was his resemblance to the sacred heart honored in the litany as the burning furnace of charity. The superabundance of sensible devotion, an ecstatic joy fed by the fountain of infinite happiness, flooded his soul. This foretaste of heaven was too much for a mere mortal to endure prior to death and glorification. Philip one day had to beg to be delivered from the delights God was pleased to bestow on him. I cannot bear so much, my God, he complained. I cannot bear so much, for see, I am dying of it. His prayer was heard and God lessened this gift. Lay Apostle The recipient of so many graces realized better than anyone the depths of his own nothingness. Having freely received he felt the need to freely give, the commission given to every apostle. While still a layman Philip went to the streets and businesses to converse with acquaintances and anyone who would listen to his exhortations on the faith. The young Florentine with radiant faith, modesty, and goodness eventually rescued not a few, especially young men, from the slippery path of perdition. Many of these converts owed the saint their vocation to religious life and to the priesthood. The first Italians to join the Society of Jesus were sent to St. Ignatius by Philip Neri. The saint's charity never failed to include the corporal works of mercy. John Wesley Later, he held May 24, 1738, when John Wesley at a time of prayer on Aldersgate Street was born of the Spirit, then there was the Spirit's filling. Time of thirteen years people baptized with fire shook three empires. Savonarola Has shaken Florence in central Italy till the face of the Mad Monk became an obsession for Florentines of that time, and a horror to religious circles. William Booth before kneeling to receive the baptism with fire, I persistent urge you to see if your souls are in harmony with the will and purpose of the Holy Spirit you are looking for. Be sure that the communication channel, which must be baptized with the Holy Spirit, is open. A few days ago I heard some people who could not draw water. They opened the valve several times, but no water flowed. They called the company, and it sent a man to examine the facilities, but everything was fine, but no trace of water. Finally checked the pipe and found a mouse. It is useless to open the valve, to pray, sing and even to think, if there is something you shoot back, or refuse to do something in idle, something about which you feel condemned, but you don't give up, something that is in the pipe. Maybe it's something worthless, despicable. Throw it, renounce at it. Destroy the idols, obstacles on ever. Let it be a direct communication between you and God. Renounce it everything, and you will be filled before you stand up on his knees. The world will feel the power, and God will have all the glory. See how he came down at the Pentecost. It is not wrong to pray that he will return and the place be shaken. I believe that the day of Pentecost was a day model. I think the church has committed big mistake by saying was a miracle that cannot be repeated. And I believe the same thing. Now I believe if we had seen the day of Pentecost as a day model, and we started to pray, 
we had Old Fire from Pentecost, here in Boston. There are a few books, otherwise little that are pure fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit. Power from above is certainly one of them. Addressed first of all to Moravians preachers, it applies to every Christian, every church. This book should be compulsory reading for every man who proclaims the name of Jesus Christ. Hyman Appleman, D.D. Azusa Street Revival of 1906 to 1909 was initiated by Pentecostal Pastor William Seymour Will I am Joseph Seymour received his Holy Spirit baptism on April 12, 1906. Those that witnessed his Holy Spirit baptism shouted and danced for three days and three night praising God. Many people came and received baptism, many of the sick were healed, sinners were saved. There was indeed an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Los Angeles. Upon the church came from the sky a fire fifteen feet high and revival has began, growth of hands amputated. Healed of facial cancer right there, amputated fingers growing back, increases the masses and teeth and mouth, and other miracle. All of this because they received from Jesus Christ baptism with fire by showing of pillar with fire. Leonard Ravenhill I remember a night in Gillingham, east of London. We rented a church. I'll tell you who came, if you read God's. Smuggler, he talks in the about a man called Uncle Hoppy. Well, Uncle Hoppy hopped in the meeting that day. He came in the most broken-down automobile I've ever seen. He was nuts, pardon the phrase, but he was sanctified nuts. He came in clothes that were almost worn out. It was sobbing and groaning as it came up the hill, but he was giving thousands of dollars away to missions. He stayed with us for a half night of prayer. I'll never forget that night of prayer. There were surgings of blessings. There were times when God so came in power, I was afraid to open my eyes. We started praying at nine o'clock. Between one and two in the morning we were going out. There was an old lady at the back, sitting in wheelchair, a white-haired lady. Oh, brother, she said, she didn't. Know any of our names, wasn't it wonderful? I said. It was. One of the best. I've been in many prayer meetings, this was one of the greatest, most powerful. Wasn't it wonderful? I said, sure, I said that. Did you feel anything different about one o'clock? I said. Yes, I felt a hand or something came I felt a quickening in my spirit. It was just then. Just then what? You didn't see it? No, no, I was with my head down. Praying. She said, a tongue of fire came down on the head of the first, went to the next, went to the next, went to the next, right to the end. It was awesome. No wonder every one of us felt a wonderful insurge of the life of God. Or the power of God, define it as you will. In May 13th, 1993, at prayer meeting in Cathedral from Perth, Australia people have been gripped by God's glory, and his presence was almost tangible. Eddie Russell Catholic Evangelist He is the one who led the meeting in the evening, when a man began to read, Parable of the Ten Virgins. Immediately after reading the passage Eddie said that Jesus gave a vivid picture of this text. After giving this message the people have come to repentance, and God's glory manifest showed fire and tongues of fire that were divided among them. They have received the baptism with fire. These are images of what happened in Perth, Australia. Divided tongues of fire. Fire and glory cloud of God. In concluding this chapter one want to say, Great art Lord God worthy to receive glory and praise. Amen. Jesus came to bring from heaven's holy fire, to ignite in hearts the altar love. Oh, if would cover us on entire earth. In glorious flame lit at Calvary. Baptism without match of holy fire. From heaven flaming tongues on altar my heart. Baptism that gather us all in covenant. When the Holy Spirit, he put in us his seal. George Crofi. Chapter 4 What John the Baptist Asked from Jesus Christ. 
The fourth chapter with help of the Holy Spirit will help you to understand more clearly that baptism with fire is not to our misfortune, but to our blessing. To read the scripture in Matthew 3, 10 to 14. Matthew 3, 10 And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, and cast into the fire. Matthew 3, 11 I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Matthew 3, 12 Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Matthew 3, 13 Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John, to be baptized of him. Matthew 3, 14 But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? What is saying to us John the Baptist here that Jesus? Christ our Lord is the one who will baptize us with the Holy Spirit, and with fire to mention that it says will. Baptize you with fire, v.11. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, and with fire. But in verse 14 we read that John searching him to stop the Lord Jesus Christ to be baptized in water, and on the contrary, John told him that he needs to be baptized. And that happens immediately after John says that Jesus... Christ baptizes with the Holy Spirit, and with fire, v.14. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? I want to ask, how will John need to be baptized? With water? No. Because he baptized with water, and also he says that Jesus Christ is the one who baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire. Then what John asked? To be thrown into eternal fire? No. But what he asked? To be baptized with what baptism? With baptism with the Holy Spirit, or with baptism with fire? With both baptisms, John did not make any difference here, because both were important, and baptism with the Holy Spirit, and baptism with fire. Why Hazing asked John the Baptist these two baptisms? Because it was aware and had discovery, Revelation, and understanding about the critical importance of these two baptisms. Remember that Lord Jesus Christ did not tell us in directly way nowhere in Scripture that we will be baptized with the Holy Spirit, or we will be baptized with fire, John 7, 39, but this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Jesus Christ tells us only that the Holy Spirit will be given. But anything about a baptism with the Holy Spirit, or the baptism with fire. Lord Jesus Christ only make a reference at desire that his body, which is the church to be baptized with fire we've seen this in. Luke 12, 49 I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? Luke 12, 50 But I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Allow me to conclude this fourth chapter. Baptism with fire is not to be cursed, but to be blessed, not for evil but for peace to have a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. These are thoughts and plans that God has on us, baptism with the Holy Spirit, and baptism with fire. The gospel is not an old story, which we make new. It is a fire of the Spirit, kept lit by immortal love, and woe. Betide us, if by our neglect and stir up the gift of God that is within us, this fire is diminishing. Dr. R. Moffat Gottry Now two hundred years, Charles Wesley sings. Oh, if in me holy fire would light a flame. To kill what is unholy, all that chaff, all that straw. Chapter 5 What is Baptism with Fire? The fifth chapter is a chapter where you will discover with the help of the Holy Spirit what is baptism with fire. Baptism with fire is anointing with power or clothed with power. Way I say this. Let's open the Bible and read from Acts 10, 38. Acts 10, 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing 
good, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. In this verse we see clearly that Lord Jesus Christ has two anointings upon him, an anointing with the Holy Spirit, and another anointing with power. Also I want and I must mention that the Holy Spirit is not a power, but a person of the Holy Godly Trinity. Anointing, baptism, or filling are the same thing. So what we have here? Two baptisms, one baptism with the Holy Spirit, and another baptism with power. Also in Acts 1, 8 and Luke 24, 49 we read. Acts 1, 8 But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Luke 24, 49 And, behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. What we see in these two verses. Did Lord Jesus Christ promises baptism with fire? No. But then what he promise? He promises the Holy Spirit and power. Acts 1, 8 But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. I show you before very clearly that the Holy Spirit is not a power, but a person in godly holy trinity. But what John the Baptist said about the fact that our Lord Jesus Christ will baptize with the Holy Spirit, and with fire was fulfilled at Pentecost. Let's read in Acts 2, 2-4. Acts 2, 2 And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Acts 2, 3 And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Acts 2, 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. We see that the 120 people men and women were baptized with the Holy Spirit. But also they have been baptized with fire, or anointing with power, or baptism with power. I said earlier that, anointing, baptism and filling it means the same thing. Lord Jesus Christ said to disciples you will receive power, when the Holy Spirit will come upon you. John the Baptist said Jesus Christ is the one that baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So as a conclusion to what we read above, baptism with fire is anointing with power. Baptism with the Holy Spirit and baptism with fire are anointing transmission that our Lord Jesus Christ had them over him, anointing with the Holy Spirit and anointing with power. John the Baptist has says, Matthew 3.11, He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So the fact that Lord Jesus Christ baptizes with the Holy Spirit and with fire it indicate, as that is a transfer of anointing, Lord Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. Acts 10, 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. I desire a little attention from you, so what we see here, these two are linked anointing with the Holy Spirit, and anointing with power, and baptism with the Holy Spirit, and baptism with fire is very clear. Baptism with fire is anointing with power. Jeremiah 23, 9 also show as clear this, Jesus Christ is the Word of God which is fire and power to, trough fact that is a hammer that breaketh the rock. Jeremiah 23, 29 is not my word like as a fire? Seth the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Tongues like fire were placed on the heads of all who were in the upper room. He burned no hair, no clothes, and did not smell of smoke. In the same way pillar of fire by night coming over the tabernacle, didn't let the tabernacle nor its smell of smoke. Exodus 14, 24 And it came to pass, that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians, through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians. Exodus 40, 38 For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel, throughout all their journeys. The greatest miracle of that day, Pentecost, was the transformation that took place in those disciples included the withdrawal. Baptism with fire has transformed themselves. Samuel Chadwick Chapter 6 For what is given to us baptism with fire 
I desire again at the beginning of this chapter to say a prayer for all who read this book. Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, you who have died and rose, you who give us life, the one in which stay in existence all things, you who are God's word, you the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit, and with fire I. Pray to you Lord and I want to ask that trough the Holy Spirit and with help of the Holy Spirit make that every one of those who are reading this book to understand and assimilate for what is given to us the baptism with fire. Father God I pray thee in the name of Jesus Christ, which is your Son, and through the Holy Spirit to fulfill this prayer of mine. I know that you listening me and I thank you. Amen. Amen. I want to mention again that baptism with fire is anointed with power. I wish that in this sixth chapter the Holy Spirit to captivate your attention and to give exceptional attention to these phrases that have the greatest significance of this book, because these words from this sixth chapter is the key to receive baptism with fire. Without have the right attitude and a clear understanding for what is given to us baptism with fire, you will not get this baptism with fire. But I want to encourage you to study carefully what I wrote here, because not at happening are you reading this book that you bought or borrowed. God has for you this gift of baptism with fire. Remember it that Jesus Christ our Lord wants to give it to you. Luke 12, 49 I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? Luke 12, 50 But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Jesus Christ desire that baptism with fire to be kindling. He desire that you and me and every Christian in his body, that is actually the church, to reach the fulfillment of his desire. I would like to relate a few verses of scripture to understand the purpose of baptism with fire, which is the anointing with power. 1. Baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power, and it is given to us to guide us, and give us light on the path that we have to walk here on earth. Verses. From Exodus 13, 21, Exodus 40, 38, and Nehemiah 9, 12. Exodus 13, 21, And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire, to give them light, to go by day and night. Exodus 40, 38, For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel, throughout all their journeys. Nehemiah 9, 12 Moreover thou leddest them in the day by a cloudy pillar, and in the night by a pillar of fire, to give them light in the way wherein they should go. 2. Dot baptism with fire, which is the anointing with power, and it is given to us that God show his mercy toward us, that he is present, and did not leave us to have the presence of Jesus Christ with us. The verse of Exodus 14, 24 The Lord was in the pillar of fire, and pillar of cloud, and in the verse of Nehemiah 9, 19 the Lord in. His infinite mercy has not left them, without his presence of which is the pillar of cloud and pillar of fire. Exodus 14, 24 And it came to pass, that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians, through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians. Nehemiah 9, 19 Yet thou in thy manifold mercies forsookest them not in the wilderness, the pillar of the Cloud departed not from them by day, to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night, to shew them light, and the way wherein they should go. 3. Baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power, and it is given to us to have passion and love for the Word of God also Lord God gives us the baptism with fire for make his word fire in our mouth, so that when we speak God's word the hearts of the unsaved to be touched. Verses from Psalm 39, 3. Jeremiah 5, 14 Jeremiah 29, 9 and Luke 24, 32 tell us that in moment, when psalmist's heart it burned, and inner fire consumed at the word came on his tongue, and in the same way. When Lord Jesus spoke to his disciples from scripture, on the road to Emmaus them heart was burning in them. Psalm 39, 3 my heart was hot within me, while I was musing the fire burned, then spake I with my tongue. Jeremiah 5, 14 Wherefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Jeremiah 20, 9 Then I said, 
I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was, In mine heart is a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. Luke 24, 32 And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us, while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures? For baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power. And it is given to us to make us his servants, flames of fire. Verses from Psalm 104, 4 and 1 Peter 4, 11 tells us that baptism with fire is for those whom God it uses, or will use in service or ministry. Psalm 104, for who mocketh his angels' spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. 1 Peter 4, 11 If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God, if any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power, and it is given to us for have the Lord with us, and to be protected Zechariah 2, 5. Zechariah 2, 5 For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. 6. Baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power, and it is given to us for cleanse us, and make us white. And clean gold and prepare us for worship according to his will. Verses of Daniel 7, 10, Zechariah 13, 9 and Malachi 3, 2. Daniel 7, 10 A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him. And ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. Zechariah 13, 9 And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and... I will hear them, I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God. Malachi 3, 2 But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. Baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power, and it is given to us for walk from place to place to preach the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ, power to pray for the sick people, and the sick people to be healed, to have power to cast out demons from people, power over all the enemy power, power to speak and teach people in authority, power to make miracles, sings and works we see in verses from Acts 10, 38, Matthew 7, 29, Matthew 10, 1, Luke 6, 19, Luke 10, 19 and Acts 2, 22. Acts 10, 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Matthew 7, 29 For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Matthew 10, 1 And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Luke 6, 19 And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, and healed them all. Luke 10, 19 Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Acts 2, 22 Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power, and it is given to us for teaching and preaching to not stand in speech of enticing words of wisdom, but in a proof give it by the Holy Spirit and power. That's what God wants to give us the baptism with fire. Besides the baptism with the Holy Spirit to be like Jesus Christ and like Apostle Paul we see in verses from 1 Corinthians 2, 4-5. 1 Corinthians 2, 4 In my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. 1 Corinthians 2, 5 That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power, 
and it is given to us for be witnesses of Jesus Christ to share the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ we see in verses from Acts 1, 8. Acts 1, 8 But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. 10. Baptism with fire, which is the anointed with power, and it is given to us for be hot. A water cannot be hot without fire we see this in Revelation 3, 15 to 16, 18. Revelation 3, 15 I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot, I would thou work cold or hot. Revelation 3, 16 So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Revelation 3, 18 I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with thyself, that thou mayest see. Lord Jesus Christ wants us and advises that us his church, to have the baptism of fire to be hot. Let's have a summary of the whole purpose and reason for which is given the baptism with fire, which is the anointing with power. It is given to us to guide us, and give us light on the path that we have to walk here on earth. Verses from Exodus 13, 21. Exodus 40, 38 and Nehemiah 9, 12, it is given to us that God show his mercy toward us, that he is present, and did not leave us to have the presence of Jesus Christ with us. The verse of Exodus 14, 24 the Lord was in the pillar of fire, and pillar of cloud, and in the verse of Nehemiah. 9, 19 the Lord in his infinite mercy has not left them, without his presence of which is the pillar of cloud, and pillar of fire. It is given to us to have passion and love. For the word of God also Lord God gives us the baptism with fire for make his word fire in our mouth, so that when we speak God's word the hearts of the unsaved to be touched. Verses from Psalm 39, 3, Jeremiah 5, 14, Jeremiah 29, 9, and Luke 24, 32 tell us that in moment when psalmists heart it burned and inner fire consumed it the word came on his tongue and in the same way when Lord Jesus spoke to his disciples from scripture on the road to Emmaus them heart was burning in them, it is given to us to make us his servants, flames of fire. Verses from Psalm 104, 4 and 1 Peter 4, 11 tells us that Baptism with fire is for those whom God it uses, or will use in service, or ministry, it is given to us for have the Lord with us and to be protected Zechariah 2, 5 it is given to us for cleanse us, and make us white, and clean gold, and prepare us for worship according to his will. Verses of Daniel 7, 10, Zechariah 13, 9 and Malachi 3, 2, it is given to us for walk from place to place to preach the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ, power to pray for the sick people, and the sick people to be healed, to have power to cast out demons from people, power over all the enemy power, power to speak and teach people in authority, power to make miracles, sings and works. We see in verses from Acts 10, 38, Matthew 7, 29, Matthew 10, 1, Luke 6, 19, Luke 10, 19, and Acts 2, 22, it is given to us for teaching and preaching to not stand in speech of enticing words of wisdom, but in a proof give it by the Holy Spirit and power. That's what God wants to give us the baptism with fire besides the baptism with the Holy Spirit to be like Jesus Christ and like Apostle Paul. We see in verses from 1 Corinthians 2, 4 to 5, it is given to us for be witnesses of Jesus Christ to share the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ. We see in verses from Acts 1, 8, it is given to us for be hot. A water cannot be hot without fire we see this in Revelation 3. 15 to 16, 18. To be baptized with fire, which is anointing with power means to have courage, to have the authority, to have wisdom, to have, to have passion, to have the gift of exorcism, to have the gift of healing, to have the gift of signs and wonders, to have burning desire to preach the madness of the cross. Where's the passion of winning souls? Where's pity that yearns to give help? Where is the love that loves unto death? Where is the unquenchable fire burner? Where is prayer that does not leave? 
Where's intercession and watching choice? Where is the victorious struggle? Where are Pentecost? Amy Wilson Carmichael. Truth without enthusiasm, morality without feelings, ritual without soul, these are things which Christ condemned them mercilessly. For all these, without fire in them, not are more much than a godless philosophy, an ethical system, a superstition. S. Chadwick. Chapter 7 Preparing for Baptism with Fire and the way how we receive it. In the last chapter 1 will present the conditions of what we should do before receiving baptism with fire, which is anointed with power, and the way how we receive baptism with fire. Let the Holy Spirit talk to you and discover you from Scripture, and from these book about these two subjects. 1. Preparing for the baptism with fire. 2. Repentance. Let's open the Scripture at Exodus 34, 9. Exodus 34, 9 And he said, If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for thine inheritance, hearing God's. Word is clear that Moses asks God to go among the people through manifestation of the pillar of fire, and the pillar of cloud, and for this it was necessary the People sanctify themselves through confess their sins and their iniquities for receive forgiveness. You and I of course have the forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ, but to be forgiven they must be confessed. Perseverance in prayer and supplication with one mind, though, we see in Acts 1, 14. Acts 1, 14 These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. No was one of them to miss from temple, from fellowship with brothers and sisters in church, which is very important and imperative. You cannot say that you are having a relationship with Jesus Christ if you do not have a relationship with the church, which is his body. All devoted to prayer, and they shared with joy and sincerity of the heart, with blood and body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the Lord's Supper. Devoted themselves to the Apostles' teaching. Acts 2 38 to 40, 42, 46. Acts 2, 38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, 39 For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Acts 2, 40 And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Acts 2, 42 And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and in prayers. Acts 2, 46 And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. 5. The way how we receive baptism with fire. I want to mention and make clearly this thing baptism with fire we receiving from our Lord Jesus Christ. Whether we receive from perseverance in prayer and in communion with the Lord's Supper, whether we receive through the laying on of hands or by spoken of some words by his servants. In all these ways is Christ Jesus that baptize us with fire. In Acts 1, 14 we see that disciples before receiving Baptism with fire or anointing with power persist in one accord in prayer and supplication, and the consequence of their obedience was baptism with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Acts 1, 14 These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Acts 2, 1 And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Acts 2, 2 And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Acts 2, 3 And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Acts 2, 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Again in Acts 8, 18 to 21 we see that baptism with the Holy Spirit is given through the laying on of hands, but we see that Peter had the power to put his hands on people to be baptized with the Holy Spirit, that power was the 
baptism with fire on whom Apostle Peter had received at Pentecost. Simon the sorcerer asked for that anointing with power, which is baptism with fire in exchange for a payment, but is reprimanded and receive not, because his heart was not clean before God. What can we conclude from this is that baptism with fire it can be received by laying hands. Acts 8, 18 And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. Acts 8, 19 Saying, Give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. Acts 8, 20 But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Acts 8, 21 Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. In Acts 10, 44 While Apostle Peter spoke, the Holy Spirit came upon them. Acts 10, 44 While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. In Luke 1, 40-41 Mary mother of our Lord Jesus Christ on when said it well to Elizabeth filled with the Holy Spirit comes upon Elizabeth. Luke 1, 40 And entered into the house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. Luke 1, 41 And it came to pass, that, when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. So what we see in these two examples from Acts 10, 44 and Luke 1, 41. Anointing with power, which is baptism with fire, and who had in Mary mother of our Lord Jesus Christ and Apostle Peter. When they spoke anointed, smeared, words with power, the Holy Spirit descended. Before the great revival in Galnakirchen burst, Martin. Booth spent hours and days and often nights in lonely agony of intercessory prayer. Then, when he preached, his words were fire and hearts of listeners like that scorched grass. M. McIntyre Love burns like fire and flame of this fire is enthusiasm. Flame is the air that we live every Christian experience with the Lord. Increases in the same time with fire. Is asphyxiate when fire is extinguished. When broth is cold of ice, flame dies, strangled, strangulated. Real life of prayer must be on fire. M. Bounds Epilogue We could see in this book baptism with fire or anointing with power from Old Testament through the New Testament in history, and to our days countless examples of manifestations of fire of God through baptism with fire or other various forms that exemplify baptism with fire, to mention that in all cases by through examples of fire of God, or by baptism with fire this fire of God's presence didn't destroy it, or didn't cause burnings. To enumerate them once again, and even others that we have not shown so far in this book, Burning bush which not consumed. Exodus 3, 2 And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush, and he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Pillar of fire. Exodus 14, 24 And it came to pass, that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians. Chariot of fire and horses of fire separated them Elijah to Elisha. 2 Kings 2, 11 And it came to pass, as they still went on, and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Chariots of fire and horses of fire around the mountain were was Elisha and his servant. 2 Kings 6, 17 And Elisha prayed, and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes, that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and Behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Burning heart and inner fire, Psalms 39, 3 My heart was hot within me. While I was musing the fire burned, then spake I with my tongue. Psalms 39, 3 My heart was burning in me, a inner fire consumed me, and then the word came on my tongue. And I spoke, in Romanian, translation Bible Dimitri Kornaleska version. Ministers of Flaming Fire
Psalms 104, for who mocketh his angels' spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Word of the Lord made a fire in mouth. Jeremiah 5, 14 Wherefore thus saith the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. River of fire that came forth before God. Daniel 7, 9 I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool, his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Daniel 7, 10 A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him, thousand thousands ministered unto him. And ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, the judgment was set, and the books were opened. Putting in fire of people for cleaning and tried. Zechariah 13, 9 And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried, they shall call on my name, and I will hear them, I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God. Our Lord Jesus Christ will baptize us with the Holy Spirit, and with fire. Matthew 3, 11 I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, and with fire. Everyone will be salted with fire. Mark 9, 49 For every one shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Baptism with fire of the body of Christ, which is the church. Luke 12, 49 I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? Luke 12, 50 But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished, clothed with power from on high the baptism with fire? Luke 24, 49 And, behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. The burning heart in them when Lord Jesus Christ read from Scripture. Luke 24, 32 And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us, while he talked with us by the way, and while he opened to us the Scriptures? Baptism with fire which they received at Pentecost. Acts 2, 3 And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Baptism with the Holy Spirit and baptism with fire, which are also anointed with the Holy Spirit and anointing with power that the Lord Jesus Christ had. Acts 10, 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. We must in continue way to be filled with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Exodus 13, 22 He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night, from before the people. So we should not ever let the filling with the Holy Spirit and filling with fire cease in our lives. Daily must want it. And seek it in to be anointed with the Holy Spirit and anointed with power, who are baptism with the Holy Spirit and baptism with fire. Baptism with fire, Jesus Christ giveth thee not to destroy you, but to be a blessing for you. Dear reader, do not forget. Baptism with fire is the anointing with power. The end. Autobiography. My name is Remus Catalin Negrian. I'm 42 years old, and I'm ordained as evangelist in Christian organization Project James 1, 27 of Arad, Romania. I'm married five years ago with my beautiful and delicate wife Elisabeta Speranta Negrian. I was born in 11. May. 1972 in town Arad, Romania. I attended 10 classes and vocational schools a year that I graduated in July 1989. In 20. May. 2000 I confessed Jesus Christ as my Savior in the baptism of water, from February 6, 2001-3. August 2001 I attended the Christian Missionary International School in Youth with a Mission Organization and I was as missionary in Banjaluka, Bosnia, and Varanasi, India. In 2002 I began working as a volunteer for the Christian Organization Project James 1, 27 of Arad, Romania. 
and in 10. October 2003 I was ordained as evangelist in the same organization, where I serve until 2009. Between October 2004 and 13. My 2005 I attended and graduated Romanian Christian Counseling School in International Christian Organization Elo Ministries Bibliography All verses quoted from the King James Version Bible Verses quoted from Dimitru Cornelescu Romanian Bible Version Because of your integrity, I extend the copyright release to use my photograph and quotes or information from our website, YouTube etc. Eddie Russell FMI